Hey gamers, welcome back today. We're diving into the latest APS 3E1.31 update, and trust me, this one's a big step forward for PS3 emulation on Android. The devs have been quietly polishing this beast, fixing major bugs, improving performance, and pushing it one step closer to stable gameplay. Whether you're testing high-end or classic games, this new version just might surprise you with smoother frame rates and fewer crashes. First, the emulator gathers basic information about your device, and then it auto-configures itself for the best performance. As you know, to play PS3 games, you must install the PS3 firmware. This firmware is officially provided by Sony's PlayStation 3 website. Select the firmware file in the app, and then click Next. One notable thing here, it doesn't take too much time to compile the firmware, like RPC SX. That's really good. Now you'll be asked to select your game directory. Your games should be in ISO format, and the app will automatically scan and load them. You can also install games in PKG format, which I'll show you later. Next, it'll prompt you to select a font file. I highly recommend choosing the firmware font file to avoid any potential issues or crashes. Enable Use Custom Driver, then select the custom driver path from your phone storage. I'm using Adreno 819. Unfortunately, non-Snapdragon users won't be able to take advantage of this feature. Finally, click the Finish button. The APS3E emulator will now automatically apply the best configuration for your device. Don't worry, you can still change the settings manually later if needed. You can now see all your games in the game library. If you click on the three dots beside any game, you'll get more options to fully customize the emulator. You'll find a refresh button, an option to install firmware, and the ability to install PKG files one by one, although this method is time-consuming. Some titles may also require additional decryption keys, so make sure you have those if needed. The virtual keypad has also been updated. You can now easily move and resize the keys to your liking. However, I personally think the default key mapping is already perfect for most games. Head into the settings menu under core settings. Using recompiler LLVM is perfectly fine for the PPU decoder. For PPU threads, you should check your phone's thread count in the system info. Now let's talk about the most anticipated update, video settings. Here you can choose between OpenGL and Vulkan as your rendering API. If you're running high-end games, consider lowering the resolution to 720 by 480 for smoother gameplay. Set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. The frame rate can go up to 120 frames per second, but I recommend keeping it on auto to maintain overall stability. Also, set shader processing to low to avoid crashes and instability, and enable both right color buffers and right depth buffers to fix graphical glitches. Enable V-Sync to eliminate screen tearing, and turn on stretch mode for full screen gameplay. Unfortunately, the the resolution scale option is locked, which means you can't change it manually. Still, the current implementation is helpful for low-end devices. There are many more advanced features under the Vulkan settings section. One important option is VRAM allocation, which lets you decide how much of your device's RAM should be used by the emulator. For example, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM in my device, so I selected 6 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes for the emulator. You need to leave some RAM for the system UI and background services, so don't allocate too much. You should also enable the performance overlay option to monitor your game's performance in real time. This will show frame rates, GPU load, and other important stats. As for the remaining options, they are already well optimized, you don't need to change them. Lastly, they've added a very helpful feature called Reset to Default. This is especially useful if you've messed up the settings and want to revert everything quickly. So, that was a full demonstration of the APS 3E emulator. If you think the developer deserves a donation, you should purchase the paid version. Consider it a way to support the developer and help them continue improving this project. If you can't purchase it, then share this video and spread the word. Let's help as many people as possible discover APS 3E. This is a great time to appreciate the hard work and dedication the developers have shown. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more emulator updates and gaming content.